It's not me. <laughs> what do you suppose the odds of any of that being even remotely true? Is that you? These pictures here? <laughs> it's not me. It looks like me. Okay, how about that one? That looks like you. Yeah, that one. Yep. That one. It looks like yeah. It's not me. She just might be interesting. I would never say it to someone like that. Never. <laughs> what do you suppose the odds of any of that being even remotely true? Is that you? These pictures here? <laughs> that looks like me. It's not me. That looks like me. I'm just. Is it just a Muslim? And I. I don't do this to someone. Never. Never. What do you suppose the odds of any of that being even from the truth? You know, I'm an Egyptian, I'm Muslim, I don't do this to Everybody, it's Bubby's birthday. Everybody, say happy birthday, Bubby! February twenty-second. So, in honor of that, we are going to check out uh, Abdullah. I don't do this stuff, guy. All right, let's do this. By the way, guys, let me know how you like the audio with my microphone. I know a lot of people uh, listen with headphones and stuff. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Apparently, it's a big, it's a big deal. To have the fucking microphone. Anyway. They did not. They bogus for this music. Midas. I don't do this stuff. A warning to some of what you are about to see and hear is explicit. Here's Chris Hansen. It's December in Flagler Beach, Florida. Population 5,000. It's time for the annual holiday parade. You know what, guys? I better just do my hair really quick because I'm going to keep fucking with it. And uh, it's going to be very distracting. All right, well, you know, when you're having a bad hair day, when in doubt, just put on a hat. Let's see how many times I take the hat on and off before the end of this video, like in the goddamn Sneeko shit. Anyway, let's go. What the fuck? Here we go. The annual holiday parade. Dude, why does why they got Santa coming out like a bat out of hell? For the annual holiday parade. The entire police force of Flagler Beach, a town some 20 miles north of Daytona, is working parade duty. <laughs> Sam, why don't you go downstairs? Guys, pot up Sammy. I've never seen this decoy. Does, uh, comment below if you remember this decoy. But later that evening, most of those same officers are working one of the biggest investigations they've ever tackled. The police are hiding in a garage behind our latest undercover house, waiting to arrest the man who's up. Sorry, now my freaking light is off. There we go. About to walk inside. Come inside, it's cold out here. I would like to rewind. Mohammed Abdallah works in real estate. He's married and has an eight. Come inside, it's cold out here. 34-year-old Mohammed Abdallah works in real estate. He's married and has an eight-year-old daughter. It's it's really d disheartening to know how many predators have kids. Hi. Look at that nasty smile. Kind of. <laughs> Coming up. How are you? How are you? How Long before he got to the house, Abdallah used the screen names Blondie 9 1972 and Midos 1972 to chat with someone who told him she's a 13 year old girl. You know what I think with the Blondie and the Midas? I think that's a reference to the Midas touch, you know, touching something and it turns to gold. I think he probably has like a white girl kink, probably has like a white girl fetish, a blonde fetish. That's really gross, because, like, 
Ew. Who wants to be white these days? But he was really talking to a decoy for the online watchdog group Perverted Justice, a group we hired because of its experience pretending to be teens online who are curious about sex. In his chat, Abdallah wants to know the girl's bra size, whether she slept with her old boyfriend, if she masturbates. What? In his chat, Abdallah wants to know the girl's bra size, whether she slept... Or just... Serace. Just serace and kisses. ...with her old boyfriend, if she masturbates, and if she's ever performed oral sex. Then he says he wants to perform oral sex on her. It will be nice. I think you will love it. But you will need to open your legs all the way. Then he suggests the girl perform oral sex on him, and Abdallah sends along these naked pictures. The gold chain. Oh, they're circling it? Note the distinctive necklace the man is wearing. How could we not note that distinctive necklace? And like most of our potential predators, Abdallah makes a date online to come to visit the team when she says she's home alone. You can shut it if you want that front door. Now he's at our house, and he doesn't know it's outfitted with multiple hidden cameras that record his every move as soon as he enters. Also out of sight are a large Dateline crew and members of Perverted Justice. Hey, how are you? Hey, that was good. Why don't you sit right over there? Sure. So what, uh, what made you come on over here tonight? Oh, just the person right there. Yeah. And so you're what? just having... So what, uh, what made you come on over here tonight? Oh, just the person right there. Yeah. And so you just happened to be going by and you saw this blonde woman. Oh, he was just passing. And she waved at you. Yes, she waved that at explains me. everything, doesn't it? She waved at me. She just waved at you. I'm thinking she owns the house. I would try yeah. to tell her what is it. And they just yeah. she said... Please don't tell me that he's going to pull the I'm trying to buy this house defense like fucking, uh, uh, what is his name? Oh my God, I'm forgetting his name. Aladdin. Please don't. And Aladdin is actually from Egypt also. That's really fucking funny. Please don't tell me he's going to use the I'm buying this house Come defense. In. Come in. And so you just walk right in? No, not just walk. Just the way I ask her, you know, what, what's his dog? Like, what an amazing coincidence. You're a lucky guy. You just drive along and just... Yeah, what a... <laughs> First of all, that face. What a lucky guy. And then... Good-looking young girl waves you. That's amazing. He's like, oh, I guess I am a lucky guy. Yeah. What do you suppose the odds of any of that being even remotely true? Just, uh, what do you suppose the odds of any of that being even remotely true? That's amazing. That's how it is. Now it's time to let him know that we know he wasn't just doing some... Just so you know, I know... Just so you know, I know that we know. Just so you know that I know that we know that you know that I know that you know that we know that you know that I know that you know that I know. Sightseeing and looking for real estate. Let him know that we know he wasn't just doing some sightseeing and looking for real estate. Now the problem with all that is, he is. I know that you were. He is looking for real estate. Now the problem with all that is, is that I know that you were chatting online with a girl who said she was thirteen. She gave you directions to come over here. Did she say I was 13? She said she was 13. Who is this? I don't know. She said I was 13. Who is this? Who is this? You tell me. You can check with a lot of people online. Laugh. Then I show him these pictures he sent. Is that you? These pictures there? It looks like me. And I Dude, these pictures he sent. what a fucking stud muffin. Look at these, like, he's doing all the different poses. It's like back in, like, 2007 MySpace, 2008 MySpace, where you would just take a picture, like, with any random ass prop on the phone, in the car, just, like, chilling. Oh, my God. He's got some energy. Is that you, these pictures there? It looks like me. It, it does like look you. like me. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a handsome guy. Naked pictures. Okay, how about that one? It looks like me, too. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. It looks, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then I remind him what he told the girl who said she was 13. He asked her what she's doing. She said she's sleeping on her back. And you say sleep on your back and open them wide open. What did you mean by that? Wide open. What is it? I don't know. This is your chat with a girl who told you. What is this? I don't know. What is this stuff? What is this stuff? 13. When was that? This particular one was December 3rd at 10.32 and 29 seconds in the morning. He got it down to the seconds. I was in the office at this time. I don't chat in the morning. You don't chat in the morning? Oh. Well, here, right here, you say you're in your office. What did I say? So that's consistent with what you just told me. You talk about me. Guys, if you remember in the Stanley Kendall video, we uh, reacted to a phone call and he literally says to the decoy, I'm at work right now. Dude was a teacher. So like, yeah, it's really not unheard of for predators to be at work doing their weird ass shit. There's a reason we have the acronym NSFW because people be doing their naughty shit at work. I mean, it makes sense. Boss makes a dollar. I make a dime. 
That's why I predate on company time kind of a thing. She says, I don't really know much about licking and stuff. Then you say, you'd like to try? She says, might be interesting. I will never say it to someone like that. Never. It will be nice. Never. I think you will love it. Never. 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 Ever. You know, I'm an Egyptian. I'm Muslim. I don't do this stuff. Ever. You know, I'm an Egyptian. I'm Muslim. I don't do this stuff. Will it? Never. Ever. You know, I'm an Egyptian, I'm Muslim, I don't do this stuff. We'll lick it. Never. Ever. You know, I'm an Egyptian, I'm Muslim, I don't do this stuff. We'll lick you all over. Lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toe. It's not me, it's just I lick you that No, 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 and I was like, before you do that, I need to tell you something. It's just not me. It's just not, it's just not me, Chris. I don't do this stuff. How many times I gotta tell you I don't do this stuff? I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on men. Sit back down with the white pants. You know, so often I like to make fun of predators for their bad fits, but he's got, he's got a little bit of Barbie girl in him, this Abdullah. Try to meet under, underage with the white pants for sex. Abdullah doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Outside, the flag would be- You can tell that's like a nice quality knit. Beautiful is this mm. cashmere? Of course it's cashmere. Hey. Oh, I love cashmere. <laughs> Who doesn't? He's Dalla wearing. Doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Look at that. Outside, the, the gold, the jewelry. Into position. <laughs> Thinking he's going to run, please come down hard. He did. Into position. He did a little skip. He's Look. Going to run, please he's like nah, down. nah. Ooh, those pants are gonna need some bleach. What is that? Oh, is that like the pavement all over his face? Yeah, oh my god, that's gravel. The thing is the dumbest concept for a superhero I've ever seen. He's not so pretty now, are you, Abdullah? What is this stuff all over your face? At first. No, no, Muhammad, Muhammad, listen to me. Okay, okay. Uh, Muhammad, Muhammad, listen to me. Okay, uh, we don't want you to make any set moves like that. Don't do this. Don't do this, this stuff. Damn, one hundred, two hundred, nine. Damn, I wonder if he was planning on paying the decoy or if he just is a high roller. Ten, one. I wonder if he was planning on trafficking her. Two. He's got pimp style. Three, four, fourteen hundred. Inside the interior. That was just in hundreds. There was twenties there too. After he's read his rights, Abdallah doesn't want to speak to the police. I need my attorney. I played the fifth and the second. <laughs> okay. Detective Liz Williams of the Flagler Beach Police Department thinks Abdallah's excuses were creative. His self-assurance was impressive. Except for one thing. Remember those pictures of the naked man? The images that showed his genitalia, um, the head was cropped off. And that unique necklace he wore? It was obviously handcrafted. And that evening when he was at our station, he was wearing the same uh, piece of jewelry around his neck. What does that say to you? It was him. Even. Just goes to show you guys, you can't have too hard of a drip. Your aesthetic has to stay under control. Otherwise, the energy goes out of control and you end up getting in trouble. You can't be so distinctive that the police know it's obviously you just based off the fit. Come on. No, he cropped that off. Right. Two days later, Abdallah made bail. He's charged with three felony counts, attempting a lewd act upon a child using a computer. Did Dalla he just like bail. flip them off? No, he cropped that off. Right. <laughs> He's flipping the bird. He's giving the finger. And I'm not making this up. Two days later, Abdallah made bail. He's charged with three felony counts, attempting a lewd act upon a child, using a computer to send lewd images, and using a computer to attempt to seduce a minor. I like how the implication is he didn't even seduce the decoy. He only, like, it was an attempt, like, no. <laughs> Defective Riz. Is carry penalties of up to 15 years. Your Riz is so defective, it's literally a crime. He's in prison. He later pleaded not guilty. And because he's an Egyptian citizen, his case has also been referred to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. That's good. If he's convicted, Abdallah could be deported after serving his sentence. He's just one of 21 men who show up at our undercover house over our four day investigation. All right, well, that 
was Abdullah I don't do this stuff uh, I'm happy to see that he got caught because Abalash Baskaran and um, Aladdin actually fled and got away Abalash was actually spotted in India in Kerala I believe he has like a jewelry stand like a couple of people like troll him on the Google go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll probably show a picture here but Aladdin was like MIA for the longest time and they couldn't find him so uh, I'm happy to see that at least Abdullah got his um, interesting stuff, guys. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get some chat log bits or find out some more information on what happened. All right, so according to the the Catch a Predator wiki, let's see what we can learn. He's most known for his arrogant passive aggressiveness. He was married. His birthday is September 19th. That's a Virgo, right on the verge of Libra, but not quite. 5'7", 150 pounds. Let's see. 34-year-old real estate agent. Uh, he showed up late at night at the police station. He continues to be passive-aggressive. He refuses to get into the police van wriggling around during his search. He immediately lawyers up and then was brought in for interrogation. His wife bailed him out. That poor woman. He absconded before his trial. He pled not guilty. I bet he fucking... He was never convicted. Why? How did he... Did he run away back to fucking Egypt? Abdallah. Teacap. What's the word? Uh, extradition. Yeah, Jesus Christ. All the Egyptian ones end up getting away. All right, there you go. That was Abdallah. I was really hoping that we could get some of his chat logs. Funnily enough, when I did uh, Aladdin Shamoon, his chat log had disappeared. But, um, love you what you're looking at. But, um, but, um, no, but, uh, his chat log mysteriously reappeared after I uploaded his video. And so far as Abdullah's chat log, it's completely gone, as far as I know. But yeah, if you guys have any more information, comment below, yada, 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 and, uh, bye. That's fucked up.